Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So today we have a couple very interesting products that, are, to be honest, nothing really intrigued me as much as these right here right now. So let's get started. I'll have the links to them down below. We have the new FR Sky Tranus X9 Lite. Now check the price. $60. And I'll tell you, I think, I know, I have a feeling why they've done this and I'll explain it in a bit. We also have the FR Sky R9M 2019. It's carrying that 2019 badge or is that 2000? Yeah, 2019 badge. New Sky Zone. O2, be careful, not O3, O2s. So this is kind of like a revision of their previous model. And we'll come back to this as well. And this new camera here from Cadex, which I'll explain what I think it's aimed for. So let's start with the transmitter here. Now this is a full-fledged transmitter as I currently understand from the descriptions down below. Now it has some things missing. Now, first of all, it's the Tyrannus X9 Lite. Now, you might fool you to think it's going to be exactly the same size as the X9, but I don't think that's really the case, and we'll see that down there. So, from immediately looking at it, you can already tell that we have less switches here. So, we have one, two, three, four, five. And that's plenty enough for an FPV pilot, even most aircrafts. I mean, some of my aircrafts, this, is, this will do more than enough for me as well. And we also have one potentiometer. Now, we also do have a speaker. It does have SD card expansion, so you can put your sound packs. It does have haptic feedback. You have your screen. You even have a module bay. So it's a full-fledged transmitter for 60 bucks. Now, why would they do such a thing? Well, first of all, you can tell that they're not really trying to... Uh, I mean, they're really going cheap with the plastic. The, the, for the cosmetics, they went as cheap as possible. But hopefully for the internals, they kept it as the QX7. I have a feeling like the internals would be uh, based upon the QX7 or even possibly the x Lite. So, scrolling down here, we need to go a little bit further when we start comparing it to the original X9, which you can kind of tell that it's going to be smaller. Now, I don't know if this is actual sizings here. I've never had an X9, but it seems to be smaller than the, even the QX7. I really love the QX7. It's a really good radio. And it's smaller. Now, you might say, why the hell would they do such a thing? Well, it's because of Jumper. Jumper is stealing some of... Uh, uh, FR Sky's market and so they wanted to come in with a cheap radio that's better than their cheap radio and enable to combat that and they I, to be honest if this thing is as good as their previous uh, models and this is this is the old time best budget you know radio that's going to be recommended for the next couple years uh, if, if if it's using the proper internals from their previous models then and the proper gimbals then you're gonna I would bet you everybody's gonna be recommending this one $60 is insane. For example, you break your, your own transmitter and you don't have cash, you'll probably end up picking one of these up. So it's really nice. It's small, but it's not small as the X Lite. Uh, but I could be wrong, but it's, to me it seems small. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section on all these products. That's the whole idea. So we hear everybody's word on this. Now, if we take a closer look at the QX7, we see that it's, oh, it's on sale for $100 right now. Anyways, it's $100. And the X Lite, which is also, it's smaller than the XQX7 and I think the X9 Lite, it's 130 bucks. This is 60 bucks. I think that is just crazy. I mean, it's the price of a fly sky. And again, I forgot to mention one thing. Now, I think um, what they've done here is obviously they went cheap on the plastics and then the case. That doesn't really bother me at all. I mean, you're going to get what you pay for as long as, again, the internals are good and the gimbals are good. Uh, but the but the module bay they give us a little baby module bay or we could call it the mini module bay that comes on the X9 Lite, as you can tell here. I'm hoping this is a module bay. I really do hope so. Uh, so we see we just have two switches here. So the battery is very easily accessible. So that's really nice as well. Um, so it's a, it's a full fledged proper professional FPV uh, transmitter. So that, that, that is just insane that they've done it for 60 bucks. And I really do hope that's the original price right there. Smart port, micro SD card slot, micro USB. Uh, so you, you will be able to basically play your simulators without anything, which is really nice. Model memory, 60 models. That's awesome. Backlight. Oh, you need a backlight. Uh, number of channels, 24. You're not going to be able to take control of the 24s, but you can do some mixing and stuff. But it has enough channels for everything. And... Okay, recommended receivers are the XSR, X6R, X4R. Okay, so this might not work on the, um, uh, well, it doesn't say anything. Can it work on the XM Pluses and, and those as well? 
Okay, so here we see the protocols. Now, I don't know which protocol is for what receiver. So we see this is one just has the access protocol. And the other ones have the ACCST. So this is the QX7, this is the X9D+, plus, but the X9 Lite here, this one, just has one protocol. But it has every other feature uh, that all of them have. So we'll, I'll try to make more sense of this, probably go to the FR Sky website, but I'll have this one linked down below. It's, it's, uh, it's an interesting product in my opinion. Uh, the FR Sky R9M 2019, this is obviously a remake. Uh, I don't know, they probably fixed some issues they've had. However, I've never had those issues. Some people complained of a lot of issues. But personally, I have three older model, mo the modules and never had an issue with any of them. So I find it um, kind of weird why everybody's having issues. I never even flashed mine or anything. I just kept everything default and I've been using I still use them to this day. So I'm going to try to get one of these and then see what's the difference. Probably do a little tear down and just take a closer look inside. All right. So Sky Zones. Now, I don't know if this is a mistake or not. This is the Sky Zone. I know they're releasing two new goggles. I think two, but I'm sure one. So these are the Sky Zone SKO2X. So I think this is a remake or a revision of their older Sky Zones. And they do give you a lot of different uh, cases here, as you can tell, all these little designs. Now, there's two versions. You might be like, okay, which one should I get? But you can see the camera disappear when I do this. Can you look at the cameras right there? Watch this. Um, so this one right now is on pre-order. So the first 10 people will get it for 316 bucks. Uh, so how many people have purchased? Six pre-orders. So four more can get it for $315. So this is not the SkyZone 03. Keep that in mind. This is the SkyZone 02. It's the previous model, but has been you know uh, redesigned possibly. Uh, so I'm going to try to get my hands on one of these, and then we'll take a closer look at it. And see how well it does. I still have my Omni V2s and the Eoshines, and uh, we'll just compare them against those because I think those are in its class currently. However, this has a lot more features, you know, 2D and 3D. It also has head tracking. The head tracking is going to be really useful, and a, and a camera if you need that camera. Uh, it's a nice little addition, but I don't think many people would use it. So yeah, this is a really well, nice, I guess, new product. Now this one's interesting. Now this one here. You know, it's getting a lot of mixed emotions and some people saying, oh, this is stupid. This is useless. But, you know, for an FPV pilot, you know, not everyone in the world is an FPV pilot. You know, there, we have some RC wings. We have some gimbal operators. We have some uh, industrial things. And this can offer quite a lot of things. One, if it really does have great 4K performance, then this is by itself going to be really great. Now, They've added two cameras, and the two cameras, are it's, it's nothing super special. Just one's going to go for the FPV feed. One's just going to go for the HD recording or the 4K recording. You do get two boards, so it'll be slightly heavy. We do have inbuilt Wi-Fi for, you can actually watch what you're looking at, and as well as uh, change some of the settings. We have anti-shake, all these stuff. This is you know, just marketing stuff here. But what's really useful with this is the fact that you have... Um, if you you know if you have you could set it up on a gimbal like what I'm planning on doing with it I'm hoping it's really light and it's not that massive because I want to design a TPU mount for this to make it like the Hawkeye Firefly action camera the tiny one that'll be really fun really useful now another thing we can do with it is also create it like a cover for it or, or, or a 3d box for it then what we can do is what's really nice about this fears and gimbal you can actually get the video feed that you're looking at so you're not flying blind so when you move left and you move right you still see what the hell you're recording so you see it has a lot of use cases it just doesn't have to be for fpv fpv is one thing uh this is the only way they can kind of uh i think market this stuff but hopefully it performs great if it does and it's a really nice contender to a lot of other things um i'm really curious to see how it's going to perform and um yeah i'm just i just want to see how it's going to perform hopefully it's going to do great and um it has a lot of nice features you know we have we even have 1080 90 frames per second 2.7k for 60 frames a second so it has a lot of nice features that's for sure h264 and h265 codec i can't wait to test it out and here we have see people already started thinking is it for 3d no it's not for 3d one one is one camera is for the fpv feed one the, the other one's going to be for the recording and well i'll have everything linked down below guys if you can check those out those great sports channel and let me know what you guys think and i'll see you in the next one peace out